Morning, morning. We have problems. Oh, Joy, there are no problems, only solutions. <sighs> I should warn you, this guy's a little rough around the edges. Say hello to our new guest commentator. Who's this delightful creature? I'm your producer. I like your woman on top. Oh. Last night, they gave us the official Ugly Truth travel bag, which is everything that you need after seeing this movie. And I kind of wanted to go over some of the contents. I'm going to ask Catherine the same thing and kind of just go over and kind of what they what this content means to you. So they have some cool little different things. There's the official Ugly Truth massage oil. So, so when, when a girl gives you the massage oil, what, what does that imply? She's up for some fun. Mm -hmm. um, she's sensual. Uh, she likes massage. Mm -hmm. And um, she likes the color red. Right. I guess so. Um, you know, it shows that she's uh, got something interesting going on. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, there are the official Ugly Truth rose petals. <laughs> what, what does ro rose petals? Because right? I'm trying to put the pieces together as to what, the, what this pack is going to imply. Okay. Well, you gonna see this? Yeah, absolutely. That's obviously. Um, wow, they smell nice. They, as well. they do smell nice. Um, I think this has got to be the, the, the feminine side of things, you mm -hmm. know, the romantic side, the sp sprinkling. Uh, Pedals on the bed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm getting into this. <laughs> right, right. Pedals absolutely. on the bed, yeah. a nice massage. Yeah, right. Wait, we're taking note. Now, this these... is not the ugly truth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the opposite. Well, yeah. now we're, I think we're, now we're getting into now the ugly truth. Because yeah. there's the official ugly truth. I didn't know what this was. And I was like, oh, they gave us balloons. They are the not. official ugly truth condoms. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. this is more like the thing. There we go. Yeah. So, and there are actually, if you want to look, there are instructions on, on in case you weren't aware, there are instructions on, on where to go once, once you open it. You, where to go once you open it? Well, like, well, how, where, oh, where, that is genius. Where, and then the trash, you know, throw that it away afterwards. What, what time is this show going to be on? Are we allowed to show this? We can, whatever. Okay, cool. Cool. I'm going to learn a lot from this. <laughs> this is like my Kama Sutra. I only need one page. It's like, uh, uh, fine. Okay. This is, this is more like the movie. Absolutely. I, think, right? I thought so, too. Well, let's hope that they actually, you know, guys would, apply, you know, use always use a condom. Public, official Ugly Truth public service announcement. Yeah. Actually, I'm surprised at the responsibility of this. You right. know, that's, that's good, because right. I wonder how many would. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, you know, you always have the, the official Ugly Truth mints, because you never know. Yeah, you never know. I mean, really, it's like this, isn't it? It's rose petals, massage oil, condom, you hope. Although, hope. after this, you might Fingers just crossed. be going straight to the, the instructions. Um, and then, in the morning, Definitely the mints. Yeah, you're gonna have to have the mints. <laughs> Changes everything. Get to the script. You hear my voice? Just do what I say. Promise you'll talk dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? I met a surgeon last night. Well, you know what that means. What? I'd stick his finger up. Oh, gross. So they gave us this official Ugly Truth pack that has, like, I guess, the official, like, date products. And oh, I talked yeah? to Gerard, and I said, okay, if a girl gives you these things, what does it mean? And I kind of, and, and he gave me some very interesting guy interpretation. <laughs> sure so I want to run them by you and, and get the real truth. If a girl gives you these things, what does it mean? There are the, the official um, Ugly Truth rose petals. Oh, God. Um, scary. That's just kind of scary. Okay. And there's the... If it's on a, if we're on a date now. Like, right. what, what date? Date five? Yeah, yeah. let's go date five. Scary. Scary, okay. <laughs> the official Ugly Truth massage oil. Well, that just means sex. I mean, obviously. On date five, yeah. yeah. Or any date, maybe. Yeah, yeah any date. Matter. Now, this, <laughs> uh, and, uh, this, this was interesting to me, because at first I was like, oh, they gave us balloons. The, the official Ugly Truth condoms. Oh, they have official yeah. Ugly Truth condoms? Well, yes, it came in the, and there's, there's instructions. <laughs> in case you're not familiar, there's instructions on how to use them and how to properly dispose of them. <laughs> Um, so that was interesting, um, because I was like, because I, because I, I saw the instructions before I this saw what the actual so product great. was. I said, these are not balloons at all. I'm not sure you really noticed the picture on this yeah. one. Um, <laughs> the cheeky one. The cheeky, the cheeky condom. Well, obviously, if a girl gives you a condom, we all know what that means. <laughs> and then, of course, and Gerard said this is very important for afterwards, the official ugly truth. Mints. Well, th yes, that's just consideration. Yeah, it's just proper consideration. <laughs> now, okay. That's so, hilarious. I love that. I want to know who put that bag together. Okay. I'll get you one. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, great. Now, listen, men are very visual. Now, that is a bra. Oh, I love how you assume all men are as perverse as you are. Oh, I don't assume. I know. So, did the surgeon ask you out? Oh, my. <laughs> Not yet. If you do exactly as I say, you'll get this guy. You're really that confident. All right, deal. I'm going to make this guy your bitch. I, 
really like your character in this movie because you know he he's cocky and he's really cool. But there's also there's a humanity to him. There's kind of I kind of like a, a Spencer Tracy kind of Cary Grant kind of aspect to him. Was it cool to to be able to add that element and make sure that he wasn't just this two dimensional? Absolutely. I mean, that was the that was the challenge, and that was the fun part of the movie was to was to make him real, make him a real guy's guy, but at the same time, you know, and, and to expound those values that where you're like, oh, I, I can't believe he just said that, and you know, give those views about sex and seduction, but at the same time, realize he's still a guy, he's still vulnerable, he's still you know, he still has some pain going on there, and he's like you say, he's, he's human, he's real. Um, and it is, it's a classic throwback to a lot of those great comedies, you know, Spencer Tracy and especially Cary Grant. So anybody that says Cary Grant to me, I'm like, wow, good to go. very good cool. To go. Rule number one, we have to teach you flirting. I know how to flirt. But the hot dog is slowly. Oh, oh, whoa. I don't think so. You have to be two people, the librarian and the stripper. Laugh at whatever he says. What if what he's saying isn't funny? That's irrelevant. For men, self-improvement ends at toilet training. <laughs> now that was perfect. Real or fake? You'll never know. Okay, and I talked to Steve, the author of the manual, and, and I said, you know, said, you know I'm going to go talk to Catherine, and, and I want to make sure that I get a really good interview, and, and what tips can you give me? And so he pointed me to page 175, and he gave me the, these tips on how to build a solid relationship. So I'm going to run through these, and then you tell me if Who afterwards... Steve Santagati. He's the the, the guy okay. that, that Gerard's character is, is based on. I All think he's right. gonna be interviewing you later right. on today. Great. Um, and he gave me some tips. So after I run through these, you tell me if you feel that our relationship has gotten any better. Okay. Okay. Personal space. <laughs> Plenty Very of important. personal space. Very important. Um, honesty. I honestly hope that this works out well. If not, then I'm just gonna have to cut the whole thing out. <laughs> and quality of time. We have, of course, junkets that we have four minutes, so. <laughs> We have to make the most of our quality time. So those those are the foundations for solid relationships. So I just ran through them. Do you feel, do you feel wow. closer? Is, is there is there a deepening? I like this manual. I should give this manual to my husband. I'll I get think you. That's you nice. can have that. You can I think have, it's you can really have my nice. copy. Thanks. A true bad boy explains how men think, date, and mate. This is fantastic. I didn't even know that that Gerard's character was based on this. Yeah, guy. he's he's literally right down the hallway. Is this him? Yeah, that's him. He's hot. He's just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I I think that these are very lovely. Um, they're very lovely ideas, but uh, I think they're pretty hard to <laughs> to, to really like throw into the, rush. We're rush in a, in a in a four minute conversation. No, I feel trust with you. Do you? I feel your respect, and I like our personal distance. I think you've nailed it. My husband, however, he could probably use this manual. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you look great. Oh, that's just doing the dishes. <laughs> I think he likes you. He's such a great guy. Yeah, he's creepy. You're such a man whore. Why am I a man whore? You're telling me you've never slept with the fun bag twins. I only slept with the one who could read. Now, you know, I'm a guy on television, and you know, all about you know, when you're on television, you have to you have to exude confidence. You are a confident guy. What's some tips you can give me as being a guy on television so that I can look in the camera and just be that confident guy? Um, oh God, I don't know because I, I think that um, one of the things is as an actor, then it, it's all about looking confident. And there'll be times that you are confident because of what you're saying, and there'll be times that you aren't. As an actor, there's times I'm doing stuff and I'm thinking, this is shit, this is terrible. <laughs> but nobody knows, and then right. you watch it, and often that's the best stuff you've done, uh, especially in this movie. I mean, there were many <laughs> scenes that I was going, oh, this is this is not funny, this is not charming, or this is not. Ri and then I'd see it and I'd go, wow, this is this is everything I wanted it to be. Um, so it's learning not to trust your head mm -hmm. and just you know that. Thank God. I mean, that's one thing about this movie is, thank God, people don't really know, women don't really know what is going on in a guy's head. Although, that's what my character is out to expose. Mm -hmm. This is what this is what really is going on in a guy's head. Mm -hmm. It's scary sometimes. It's scary sometimes. Yeah, I'm spending my money. Would you stop doing that? Why is it turning you on? <laughs> Baby. I think I kind of like it. Really? Suck. I'm going to do it. The Ugly Truth. 